Okay guys, so in this video we are going to be talking about how ships can maneuver so easily. Yes, especially ferries, because I'm working on one. And now we're finally home, back on our two weeks off time. So yes, tag along. Driven by an uh, outboard motor if you would like. So when we are navigating or steering the ferry, we use this one right there. And right now we are pushing water out on that side, if you can see there. We are pushing water from our stove that way. And uh, yes, the same applies for this one. We are pushing water this way. And when we are sailing, stick stands this way, right here. So now we are pushing water right behind us, right? When we are, when we need to reduce our speed quickly, we are turning this one. So we are pushing water right in the opposite direction of driving, if you, if you know, right? So we are, the shuttle is standing this way, okay? So, the, we have two shuttles, one in front of the ferry, which is always on our, in my left hand. And on my right hand, I have always one that's on the aft, okay? You got it. So this ferry, Haringen, it has a different maneuver system than Jelmelon. So if you see over here, right now we are pushing water this way, as you can see right here. We are pushing water. This ferry right here, it has propeller and a rudder, more exactly a becker rudder. So it's a very maneuverability, but of course it's much, much more maneuverability, this one, because we can, our water from the propellers in any direction we want, 360 degrees. While this one, it can only push water either in front or to the side, all in the matter of which way the rudder stands. So when we are reducing speed over here, we have to take up the lever, connect the forward propeller, and when we can push water in the front, it's nothing like driving this ferry right here. It's a very good maneuverability because of this. We have uh, aquamasters and it's very good to maneuver. 